Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to... What game is this? Supreme Ruler. Supreme. And I'm joined here by Ben Magnus, Bundeswehr Bob, and Commissar Roach. Not Commissioner Roach. He's be somewhere else. Thank you. So there were a couple Thank of you. questions that came up during the, the break, which we'll, we'll start with Ben. Ben, what was your question? Something about ships. Uh, well, I was looking at my submarines, and they were actually doing a halfway decent job taking out the, uh, the Soviet Merchant Marine. I was wondering if there was actually, like, experience or a combat log for the individual ships. There is. So what you want to do is, one, make sure your bottom left panel is open. That's the first okay. thing. So make sure that's open. Next open. thing, go ahead and select whatever unit it is that you're trying to look at. Okay. Then in the bottom left, there should be a panel now with the unit in there. Uh, just total. Yes. Go ahead and then just hover your mouse over it and it'll tell you unit details. Tell me uh, units is killed, it's oh, morale, killed experience, efficiency, entrenchment, it's combat time, and it's yeah. maintenance. Yeah, this, this, this submarine has sunk seven Russian transports and the other one sank two. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but but one is forty is twenty four hundred tons, so a rather large submarine, and the other one is four hundred tons, rather small submarine. Yeah. So if efficiency will go up the more that I mean, there's several ways you can affect efficiency. Uh, one is by spending more money on your military. Um, and then you can also launch like reconnaissance satellites, but we'll get into that kind of stuff later when we actually you know have a chance to like do tech and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then also just killing shit will make your units more efficient. Okay. And then, uh, Mordred, you had a question. Yeah, how can I see where air bases are? Uh, so the only thing I've ever seen about highlighting air bases and stuff has been. Oh, I know, I know. I think it's your reserve. Yeah, if you go to your your defense tab and then click on your filter to air units, everything that's highlighted in purple will be the your air bases there. Oh, okay. Yeah, your air bases that. that are available for you to land in. Okay, that, that's super helpful. Cool, thank you. Now, that's, that's the only way I know of it. It's kind of a little bit of a round. It's kind of circuitous, circuitous to get there. And it, you can do the same thing for ports and then also barracks for your land units. They're all highlighted in the same tab, so I think it's just when you have the defense tab open. Yeah. Are you kidding? I, I, my approval order should, should be through the goddamn roof right now. Mine's on 15%. They're not happy with me. Okay, well then mine's good comparatively. I yep. have 27%. Russian, Russian ships are turning around. They're like, ah! Yep. <laughs> They're getting chased by the Polak submarines. I mean, are you, are you, got, is your supply still good up there, Ben? Like, you still got combat time and everything available? Uh, the His two submarines have combat time of about 30 right now. 30 out of 40, the last I checked. Yeah, so I'm going to keep them going up here for a while because the ships keep coming. So. How, how can you tell that, Roach? I can look at them. How? Because they're in we're international ours. water. Or, or no, we're not. No, 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 I know you can see them, but how, how are you determining the, like, how are you getting more details about them? I'm doing the thing where you actually, what we just talked about, where I click the unit and I can see it's kills. It also gives a combat time on that. You didn't know I that? Like, it's right I can't next to it. I can't select it, though. I don't select it. If Okay, if you click it, okay, and you see, um, all right, yeah, pause it. Uh, go, go to where they're at, uh -huh. um, and you've clicked on the water t uh, tile that they're on. Right. You see all those little tabs on the right side of the bottom left uh, screen? You see the one that has the hex with the unit inside of it? Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, cool. So, uh, combat time. If if that reaches zero, are they stalled in the water? or So do I have to send them back before they hit zero? So, again, there's, mean, two, there's two different supply types here. The combat time is just simply shooting bullets. So once you're out of combat time, you're out of bullets. Okay, I see... All right, so, so there's fuel. two. Okay, is the I'm, I'm assuming the like the the jerry can is fuel. Right. Yeah, both of yours Which, are pretty good, except for the uh, the SSK two o seven. That yeah, that's a that's a little old one. Yeah, that one's only uh, got a thousand, and it's currently at seven hundred. Uh, so it's but, at seventy percent. Uh, but is which which icon is ammunition? Well, you just use combat time to. Uh, to oh, okay. It. I thought I thought it had ammo. Okay. <clears throat> so okay, right, I'm good. So right now your your S six three six has like uh, I think a little bit more than twenty shots, and the same thing for the S S K. I mean, how how I typically set up my units, and Roach can go over how he does his stuff. But I usually set up a patrol from friendly territory from my from my naval ship, anyway, from friendly territory to another point in in international waters. So they essentially go out unload their payload of whatever enemy units there are, come back, resupply, do it all over again. Okay. And how do I set up a patrol? So, oh, patrol, right there. 
Just so as, a, as a heads up to the Polish and German air forces, uh, you might want to go over to former uh, Eastern Kaliningrad, and it seems the Russians have like a patrol or a area yeah. denial uh, air force unit there. Yeah, you might want to take them out. My, them my, bleed. my aircraft are, are under repair at this point. <laughs> They're dealing with other stuff. They're getting shot at by somebody. I don't know who, though. The Russian uh, air force keeps trying to come across. Um, There's a lot of Dutch planes there helping out, which is good. Yeah, there's an airbase up there, so I'm just encircling that, basically, or circling that, basically. So oh, I took oh, all of my I subs. I thought that was a Russian flag. <laughs> I took all of my How subs and I told you, them sir. to. How dare you? Well, I had this I... confusion too when I was playing my my uh, most recent solo game, of my own, is that I went and attacked ISIS, and I saw those Dutch flags in there, but I thought it was Russia, and Russia had like artillery units sitting inside of ISIS's territory, so I thought, oh, Russia and ISIS are in league. But it turns out it wasn't, and it was actually the Dutch that were assisting ISIS in some way. I was just like, oh. That <laughs> dirty well. Dutch yeah, bastards? Yeah, so I saw that episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Finns are here! Well, kind of. I mean, they have units, but... They're watching. Yay, German um, surface ships are here. We're gonna blow the shit out yeah. of all these guys. Oh, yeah. So, I grabbed all of my submarines, and I told them to... And I clicked patrol, and then I clicked up around uh, the international water... Like, that, that channel that goes through so there, where, like wherever wherever you wherever you selected the unit, that's going to be its patrol start point. So you're going to okay. want you're going to want to select them, move them to supply to water, there. then patrol gotcha. back, and they'll do back and forth. So then they'll they'll go up there, hang out, and then when they need supplies, they'll go back. Oh man, oh the hero Orion. So is the AI just bad in this, and it's not? And it's just, and it's like I don't need escorts. These guys can swim. Well, the Russians don't necessarily have much of a navy. All right, there's a Russian, there's a Russian plane here. I don't know. They what did just plane lose this their is. only carrier. It's a uh, recon, I think. It's a recon plane. But I mean, don't don't you worry about uh, about Russia and their units. They they'll have plenty. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Subs are still doing great. We we have one adventure at Kaliningrad, but boy, do we have a long way to go. Yeah, there's a lot more Russia. There's a lot of Russia. What's keeping us safe right now is the fact that Russia hasn't like attacked across like Belarus, Estonia, yeah. Latvia, Lithuania. Oh, haven't Ukraine. opened up a real front. Here they come again. Which I'm actually ship going sunk. To... Ten ships sunk. I don't think I will start with a whole lot of supply trucks. I'm probably going to go ahead and produce a bunch of those. Romania didn't even have the research for supply trucks. <laughs> Transport Panzer. We don't we don't understand the concept of putting supplies on the back of an open topped truck or vehicle. So we're uh, <laughs> we're currently researching that plan, but uh... I'll go and research. Uh, sorry, build a couple myself. And a supply truck, I think, can supply up to like six units on its own. I think, right? It's got a, it's got a, it can supply every adjacent hex to the hex it's on, plus okay. one on the hex. So okay. technically seven. All right, I'm gonna redeploy my my fighter, my F-18s and my F-16s to. Uh, oh, I'm not even pronouncing. That. I'm not trying to pronounce that. Uh, the airbase that used to be next to Kaliningrad. Gusev or and something then, like that? It's, uh, Chernikovsk? Yeah. Yeah, uh oh. One. No, we lost our Orion! Wait, where did we lose the Orion? Oh shit, they're coming in from, from, the, from the North Sea, too. From the North Sea? Alright, I'm gonna pull my surface ships over here. I forgot that the. They're probably like coming out of like Archangel or something. Oh god, are they going all the way around? I think yeah, they are. Yeah, that's why I just double checked that I had some defensive forces still in the Netherlands. I do. I'm gonna redeploy then the Air Force over there. Oh, by the way, for those that don't know, you can hotkey troops. <laughs> I like that the Netherlands, who did basically nothing during the majority of the fighting of that war, has somehow got the oil derricks. What? Uh, I demand it's Dutch oil. access. It's Dutch oil. What can I say? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! That is that is inappropriate, right there. Transfer, transfer control of the oil, Derek. Uh, 
before well, the, you could. the Dutch are the ones with the petroleum refineries already in place. So, you know, it makes the most sense for us to have it. Uh, it really makes absolutely no sense. These are Polish waters. Well, clearly not. And all these poles <laughs> they're, died. They're tested at the moment. I, I don't want to get in the middle of this. <laughs> <laughs> you are literally in the middle of it, Bob. I don't want to be here anymore. Well, I, I, you I, are literally well, figure. You're not figuratively, literally. I mean, the thing is, is that I've, I have hardly deployed anybody, so I could probably crush both of you in an afternoon, so. <laughs> the vast majority <laughs> of the German ground forces are just sitting at home. <laughs> All right. What is it? This is Oliver H. Perry. That doesn't sound like the name of a Polish ship. Maybe it was a German ship that you got in a deal. Or maybe it was a British one once upon a time. Yeah, yeah sh ships tend to bounce around for decades. Yeah, I think the Polish Navy has got the Baltic on lock at this point. We're going to go home. At the moment, it's the Dutch Navy on the front line. Oh, really? It is. Where? At the outlet. He's to, got um, five, Tallinn. six ships up there just blasting away. Yeah. I've had submarines up there for a while. Now. I'm actually oh. going to. Oh, there they are. Navy. They're hidden amongst the Polish units. Oh, wow. Apparently, the only anti-tank unit that the Romanians can build is an SU-100. What? <laughs> yeah. From like 1944. <laughs> yeah. What did you just find two of them like in a bog somewhere and dig them out? <laughs> it's, it's the, that's the only one we have researched right now. So uh, yeah, the Romanians, Romanian military has to has to, <laughs> has to figure out how to be normal. And up to date. Right, so the Oliver Perry seems to be doing pretty good. He's sunk three ships so far. He's got plenty of combat time. See, what am I doing? I, don't, I I have no need of any land units to be deployed right now, like at all. We're just gonna we're just gonna go home and just hang out and yeah, I, drink I, some beer and eat some bratwurst. It's well, German yeah, police it. action at it. this point. Please policing what the oil, Derek? Like what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's the that's Dutch like oil, Derek. <laughs> I don't even understand how you got control of it. My navy was the one fighting there. <laughs> My navy hadn't even arrived yet, so well, I have no Well, so, so you had submarines in the area, Ben, and submarines can't capture territory. Only surface ships and land units can do that. If, so, is it actually possible ships, to transfer territory? Because it is. Like, I'll, I'll give it to you. I have no idea. It may be in the diplomatic action. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, uh, criminal extradition, free flow of labor. Wait, we're in the EU and we don't have free, free flow of labor? That's well, weird. there is no EU, technically, uh, in terms of... There's, yeah, there's the, no... Yeah. Like, oh, so this is not Brexit. modeled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nexit? Uh, Dexit? <laughs> I'm going to go with Pout, pulling out. Pout. God, I've actually got a lot of units, and my, a lot of my Air Force needs to get repaired. Yeah, I definitely think this is going to be mo a more... Uh, as it stands now, uh, naval and air air patrols. The Oliver Perry is just, just just going balls deep up this channel here. It's, I don't even know what the fuck He's fighting up near Helsinki. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Run, the, you bitches! Here's the thing, is that we're about three months into this now, and um, oh. I'm being asked to invade Denmark in the chat. That's not going to happen right this second. I might later, maybe. I mean, there's not a lot of things that Denmark can impart to me except for maybe arable land, but we have plenty of that in Germany. But, uh, the, the, yeah, you can keep the Russians pretty well bottled up there in, uh, in St. Petersburg. The thing is, though, is that Russia does have a lot of, like, military units that will flex eventually. So Estonia yeah. will probably be next, is, and then followed by Lithuania and Latvia that are going to go. I'm betting Ukraine's probably going to be on the list at some point here. I don't know. They All usually right. don't go I, I, for I, Ukraine I, that early. It's it's a pretty low priority for them. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to build a whole lot more of though. Are perhaps some of these interceptors? Yeah. The I'm Oliver Perry is chasing like entire armies back up the fucking channel here. Well, I should probably turn back. Though. You should probably turn back because remember, like, air forces yeah, are sense. a thing, and <laughs> if you get too close. Yeah, he's I turned him around. I turned. He just wanted to get a couple more hits. Exactly. He turned no around. interceptors whatsoever. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know what to do with all these military units sitting around now. Russian Navy is coming through uh, the straits around Denmark. Oh, over there. Oh, like yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got Navy that's going to intercept. Oh! 
Did your Orion just go down? Probably. So I was looking at him, and then there was an explosion. Yep, my, my Orion like, went down. I'm running out of AWAC craft. Move to... I don't want you on patrol anymore. I just want you to go back on... How do I... Is there a way to tell them to stop patrolling and just go back into the berth, their berths? That's funny. My my mobile units arrived in Poland ages ago. My yeah. infantry units are just arriving in Hanover. Is NATO a thing in this? Uh, yes, it is. But only if you're using, like, the sphere system, which we're not using. And that's kind of really more of a Cold War scenario thing. Uh-oh, what's going on now? Hey, Russia declared war in Finland. Go figure. Condemned. Oh, okay, well... Finland's about to get messed up. Uh, who knows? Like they, they just lost a shitload of, of units. And there's active fighting on the border right now. Okay, well, at least the Finns don't share a border with me. That's a step in the right direction. Do I like playing Supreme Ruler or Hoi 4 more in my spare time? Supreme Ruler I like playing more oh, in yeah. my spare time. Oh, Supreme Ruler far more. It is, yeah. uh, it, like... Hoi 4 is a meme. <laughs> the only reason I play Hoi, Hoi 4 is because I play it with you guys and the Kaiser Reich mod. But even that, I prefer uh, the Darkest Hour Kaiser Reich mod over the uh, the Hoi 4 Kaiser Reich mod. So, like, it's pretty much just because you guys play it. Oh, what is the supply situation up here on. right now, anyway? I'm going to look at the supplies. Okay, so I, I, I got confused, but I think I understand what's going on now. I kept telling my ships to go back to port. I just wanted them to hang out there, and then I would give them orders later. But I still have the Navy set on full. So I think as soon as they go back, the AI is grabbing them and giving them orders. Right. Yeah, and their orders will... The thing about uh, the automated thing, their orders will, when they will, uh, get to a low enough supply, they'll come back to resupply. Like The AI is uh, not an idiot? Yeah, it's not an idiot. Like, it'll... It, the, AI, oh, the AI in this game is actually pretty good. Yeah. The, I compared mean... Compared to something like it's Hearts of Iron, it's pretty good. Yeah. So it'll it'll set up usable patrol paths with like supply and stuff. Oh yeah, there's active fighting along this whole border. Yeah, it's 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 going down now. Greece. Yep, yep, there they are. There's the Russian merchant marine coming in through the straits, and there's the German navy intercept every single one of them. <laughs> es Estonia. The great Russian. Like, Estonia wants military. Uh, March guys. 2017. <laughs> It was it Somalia? Consumer goods. Uh, I'm gonna reject that one. And who is this? Armenia. Wants a t 90 tons daily, or nine, uh, one ton daily for three months. I, I mean, if you, if you really wanted to do something and really uh, stick it to Russia, uh, Germany could um, could ally Finland and just like start sending air force up to Helsinki and stuff. It's really actually not a bad idea. I'm not sure that they're... I mean, our relations are pretty cold right now, though. I've actually got pretty decent... Are you saying that there's some sort of cold war going on? <laughs> I, no, I could crush any of the Baltic states in the afternoon, Ben. <laughs> That's a little hot. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> so what's going on in Romania? Uh, we're just what watching this. I don't know what you're even doing down there. I, I hear oh, some well, despair. I've been, watching, I've been watching the wars a bit, uh, but mostly I'm just building up the country because uh, the thing about the Romania start is that it is, um, it's not good. Like we're, <laughs> it's, we have it's bad. We we it's only bad. have we only have two research centers at the beginning, so I'm I'm building a new one just so I can get some uh, and get three of them going. Uh, we were low on consumer goods, industrial goods, and military goods, so I'm building up those, and then coupling with that, I'm uh, reinvigorating the Romanian oil industry. All right, uh, so I've I've set up some spies around St. Petersburg to start sabotaging their shit. Oh, that's a thing. Yes. So if you go to the state tab, state, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five down on the right side. There's espionage. Hotspots, Benza. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'm in the wrong states. There we go. I was on. I was on so line. what you want to do in order to set up spies, what you want to do is select the country you want to set spies up in. Putin. Yep, Putin. And then go ahead and click on espionage. Then in the new box that pops up, you're going to have in the top right of that, there's going to be a, a little assign mission button. Mm -hmm. Assign spies to map for mission. That one? Yeah, or... and then a little, another little pop-up will come up indicating ah. what kind of missions to do. 
what you do is select the mission and then collect the spot on the map that you want to send the spy to do. So recon is simply staying there and providing you sight in like the immediate area. Uh, espionage, I think it's supposed to be tech, but I've never been able to do that one successfully. And then sabotage, the spy will go in and start wrecking up the place. <laughs> go in at night and wreck up the place. Yeah, like I, I deployed every single like bit of like German intelligence into St. Petersburg is what I did in and around to uh, mess with the uh, the facilities there, so they can hopefully I'm hoping we can kind of fiddle with this, the Russian supply in that area. Oh, oh wow. The, the, I'm just looking at the. I'm building units for the Romanian military. Romanian air defense is still using 100 millimeter towed AA guns as its best unit. I think I sold a bunch of those to the Polish. <laughs> I think they were bigger than that, actually. Really? I think they were 120s. We were using these things back in the 40s. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've built anything new since the 40s. I mean, I can build a bomber that's... Uh, okay. I can build a J-22B, which is... Yeah, I 52? <laughs> and I have one helicopter, which looks like it's from Korea, uh, that I can build as well. It probably crashed on the way, got stuck in a bog, and you dug it out. And I have no missile production facilities whatsoever as well. So Romania oh, starts so. out in a pretty bad situation. So I, I've been building that up. But since you guys have been at the war, that takes a long time. So I've been kind of just watching the war from afar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start. So escort ships are the ones that are a little bit. They're the bigger land ones. Land combat air or patrol ships. Yeah, okay. So they're a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna lay down a couple. God, all these all these poor merchant ships that are from Russia are just getting bombed as shit by my fighters and oh, mm -hmm. that's terrible. Yeah, I have my fighters up there as well now. I'm sending my ships over that way. Oh, I that's a Russian Poland combat. Pretty much that's a Russian there. combat ship. Yeah, but he's getting messed up. These... That's a destroyer. Meanwhile, the Danish just sit there watching. <laughs> What's up, guys? Square, <laughs> Stay their square, space. square boats. Well, I mean, for 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 a practical like defensive purpose, take over Denmark to watch better over like the the Sound and like the the North Sea might be a reasonable thing to do. Uh, Bob's gonna do Operation Vesselbung Mark II. <laughs> electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Vesselbung II, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, poor Russians. <laughs> Russian soldiers didn't know what they were getting into with this. Poor, poor Russians. Russians. Fuck those guys. <laughs> They attacked me. They did the unprovoked Putinish. <laughs> unprovoked. Yeah, an unprovoked Putin. Putinish. Is that is that, is that, is that is that a delicacy or something? Like what? Is... <laughs> oh man. All right. Those are howitzers. What are what are these? Helicopters. Will aircraft repair automatically? Oh, so the, the guns. The, if they're on initiative high to me were... or full, they'll go you back to repair. You sold me dual 23 millimeter anti-aircraft guns. Yeah. I don't know if a 23 millimeter anti-aircraft guns is going to be able to do anything against a fighter, a modern fighter, but or, they're there. Did you not hear when I was using a 100 millimeter towed AA? Like that's I'm literally that's like a fucking 88, and we're just we're using those as our anti-air. Gun 88. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do it, Bob. We're still eyeballing this shit with a jet, like just like. This is pretty good. I just got this in the chat. Do it, Bob. Make Denmark shit themselves and turn their land into a tank racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Air defense. That's pretty good. All right, Finland's doing pretty well. They've only lost one city so far on the border. And that, that was a pretty hard fight. Well, this is this is like winter. This is winter war, Mark, too. Well, they don't have prepared defenses down there, which if I was playing Finland, I would have been putting down bunkers. And build <laughs> I, I would have done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to try to to diplomatize with Finland, but I am going to try to diplomatize with Estonia because I know they've got an air base at their far western border over there. Yeah, I've I haven't seen any Russian planes in the sky in a while. That's good. Took a hit, a big hit in that war. You took a hit. What happened to you? No, I'm saying Russia took a big hit in that war to uh, to their air force. No Ooh. wonder they're. My uh, my some of my submarines have uh, an experience star now. Yeah, they'll get like that. that. Well, when you sink when you sink nineteen Russian transport ships, you get good at torpedoing things. All right, I think I, I think I get a little bit. I understand a little bit more things now. 
Okay, so all of my airplanes just crashed, so they clearly weren't refueling. Yeah, make sure your initiative is, is at, um, uh, at least, uh, for them to come uh, back. I didn't have the default. Gotta, okay. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put their initiative up if you want them to auto, uh, do things. When ships are in ports, do do they do, does the model disappear off the map or does it just stay next to the port? When you reserve it, it will disappear. All right, because I don't think I need transports up right now. <laughs> All the transports. Yeah, Russia's not uh, pushing as far in as I thought they would. Clear orders, send for repairs. How do I reserve this unit? So it'll be in the, under the orders, just like you would with like a patrol. Oh, reserve. So send them into reserve right there. Russia had a good idea attacking in March, though, instead of, like, January. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can get into Estonia, you can put an AWAC up and uh, just start hitting the uh, the Russians with your air force. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm Estonia? thinking I should do. No, 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 not, not kill Estonia. Well, I mean, we could, but... I mean, it's like... That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. No, I'm, I'm cultivating relations with Estonia right now so I can get access to, like, their air base. That's on the far ah. western side of their uh, country. I don't know what those islands are called over there, but... Um, but if I, if I can get close enough with, like, my multi-role aircraft and, like, tactical bombers and shit, I can start just, like, pegging the uh, the Russian forces from there. Which I should actually... I should start trying to maybe get air transit rights over Finland then, too. There's another whole bunch of Russian ships, which I think just sailed right past the Netherlands. They're coming up the east side of Denmark rather than from the north. Yeah, they're trying really hard. There's well, going to be a, a lot of German, German planes going around just having a field day. German yep. Air Force is, is like the world police right now. <laughs> <laughs> Germany, fuck yeah. <laughs> coming around, saving the motherfucking day, yeah. <laughs> have I built? I don't. Th I don't know if enough time has passed for me to have built anything that I started construction on yet. I got my first run of uh, what are they? I think these are like armored personnel carriers. That's uh, that's all I've built so far. Ooh, the Dutch Navy just arrived! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> murder, 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 murder. My military approval rate in it is 98.7%. Military so is happy that you're Because you're, you're not telling them to do anything. They're, you're you're in the military order itself. Well, they don't need... They, 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 a lot of, I'm sure a lot of Poles died taking, uh, taking back Kaliningrad there. More, German, yeah, not, more uh, Russians died, I think. Than, well, I would hope so. Yeah. I'm not feeling confident that Finland's going to be able to weather the storm for a whole lot longer. Oh, I don't think so. I've seen a couple of their units get to surround. I mean, the Russian destroyed. supply is really not great right there. Um, but they've seized several towns, and those are going to start propagating supply, you know, like, a lot, so... They're sinking a lot of Russians coming past the Netherlands right now. Diplomatic offer from Kazakhstan. I've literally just parked my no. ships in their path and just like... No, that's Kazakhstan. you got to come through it. Looks like that's yeah, the end of the episode that. for... Yes, it is. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this, then hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And don't forget, check out the perspectives from the others. And also check out our Patreons if you'd like to support our channels further. That's goodbye from everyone here and from me. And we'll catch you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.